Hey, welcome, guys. Yeah, so the, today, uh, let's prove the famous uh, stone wire truss theory. Okay, so uh, I already proved this in the, another video that I will post link below. So basically, let me just write down the the theorem. So stone wire truss. So this is the uh, simple version such that uh, uh, the settings that uh, suppose f is a polynomial defined on a closed interval. Okay, and uh, a b uh, a b to r and uh, f is continuous. Then uh, there exists a polynomial p of x such that uh, for epsilon, so basically for epsilon greater than zero, there exists a polynomial p of x such that uh, f of x minus p of x less than epsilon. Okay, so basically uh, I should say the soup or the maximum because this is continuous function, right? So a maximum from x belongs to a b less or epsilon. So basically, this just say that uh, the continuous function on a b uh, can be approximate can be approximated by uh, polynomials. Yeah, this is a famous uh, stone wire truss theory. Okay, so. Uh, there are many ways to prove it. So the previous uh, pr the previous way that I proved is using the so-called Burstyn polynomial. Okay, so the previous uh, previous that I I go in, I the key idea I go to the proof is using a Burstyn polynomial. Okay, but in this video uh, I will not use this. I will provide another proof. Uh, basically, follow the routine. <sighs> Okay, so let's see the second proof. Yeah, this proof is uh, very elegant. Okay, so the starting point is that let's define g of x. Uh, so by, by the way, uh, I can assume that a, b is basically for, uh, just as zero, one, right? So that, uh, so that I don't have to uh, worry about, I don't uh, have to worry, uh, I don't, I just shift a, b to be zero, one. And uh, more generally, I can assume that f of zero and uh, f of one is zero. Okay, the reason is that I can take g of x to be, let's say, f of x minus f zeros minus x, f of one minus f of zero. Okay, so from here that uh, you can it, it say g of zero is a uh, energy of one zero. Okay. So key idea is that if G can be approximated by some uniform convergence function polynomial P, then F can also be uh, approximated by P. Okay, so uh, so basically uh, we can assume F of zero and F of one is zero. And uh, we, I only can talk about A, B is uh, zero, one and uh, and then not only that, right? So basically, uh, I I can I can uh, define f to be. Uh, so yeah, I, I only care about this, okay? And I can uh, uh so I can assume f is uh, zero for uh, x greater than one and x less than zero, okay? Because I don't care that, right? So I I only care about this. Okay, so now uh, we can define a q of x to be one of x one minus x squared uh, cn okay and uh, this cn is choose to be the normalization one minus one which is zero uh, which is one okay okay so now let's do this okay so uh, this is uh, two zero one minus x squared uh, cn dx and uh, this is greater or equal to two minus uh, two, uh, one divided by square root of n, right? Because this guy, sorry, this is n. This is guy is uh, greater or equal to zero. So I can make it this. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit stupid. Let's eliminate this here. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we use the Bernoulli inequality, right? So one plus x to some power k is greater or equal to one plus kx. 
uh, if uh, if x is greater than zero. Okay, so now this is can be greater or equal to two, one over square root of n zero, and then one minus n x squared dx. Okay, so simple calculation. This is four divided by three square root of n is greater than one over square root of n, right? So by uh, by this construction, which this integral is greater than the square root of n, right? So which show that uh, which show that c n should less than square root of n. Okay. Okay, and uh, by the previous one, I know that the I know that so my q n right defined to be this. Okay, so uh, I want to first the bounded this q n right. So notice that the q n of x. Uh, can be bounded by square root of n, right? One minus because I know this. Okay, and let's consider uh, for this region, I can prove that uh, q n of x is less or equal to square root of n one minus delta squared. And uh, for so delta is something uh, greater or equal to zero and less than one. Okay, so this is uh, what uh, what I will use in the next. Uh, in the next paragraph, okay. Okay, so now the key is to define a PN. Zero or one and the uh, F of T, Q and T minus X, D, T. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, or basically, or basically, uh, or you can define, you can check this is the same as one, uh, one minus x minus x and the f of t plus f x plus t, uh, q and t dt. Okay, so this is a ch change of variable. Okay. Now the key is to, uh, the key is to show. So that uh, you can find n, find n large enough, such that uh, you now you are define uh, this p of n, right? Let's so say, say your p of n minus f of x is less or equal to epsilon, right? This is the key you want to prove. You want to prove that the uh, the polynomial you find is can be arbitrarily close to function f. Okay, and then you where this is your p. N. Uh, yes, okay. So the proof is that uh, for epsilon greater than zero, you can find delta greater than zero such that uh, when y minus x less than delta, your f of y minus f of x is less than epsilon divided by two. Okay, this is by the uniform, uh, I think it's a uniform continuous. Okay, because the uh, continuous function are compact set is a uniform continuous. Okay, so now Pn minus F is basically one minus one Fx plus T minus F of X, Qn uh, T D, DT, right? Because Qn integral is one, right? By my construction. And this is less or equal to one minus one Fx plus T minus F of X, Qn T. Okay, and then I separate into uh I separate into three parts, right? The first part is at the uh, minus delta minus one, and the integral of this. Okay, and I assume m to be the soup of f of x. Right, so this two two guy right minus is bounded by two m, two n t dt, and for middle one. So let's let's write it. So this minus one one right. I separate into this part. Minus delta delta, and then for these parts, and for these parts, let's say uh, for the middle part is bounded by this, and then these two, uh, these two parts, is bounded by m. Okay. Okay, and the plus two m one delta q n d t t. Right, so I can separate into three three parts. Okay, so and uh, so these two parts, these two parts, 
can be combined with the previous bundle that I just found. Okay, so this guy is that's equal to two two m square root of n one minus delta square n times two plus the middle term. Middle term is epsilon divided by two, right? Because this guy is positive and the integral is one, so I can bound it by this. As n goes to infinity, I know that the square root of n and the one minus delta square n can go to zero. Okay. So you can prove this by the Apito. Okay, so we prove the theorem. <clears throat> I know this guy can bound it by epsilon. Okay, so this is the key theorem and the, and the proof of stone wire trust. So basically, uh, we first do the simple equation such that uh, we assume AB can be 0, 1, and uh, F0 and F. F one zero, so that I can use continuous property to make everything out out of it to be zero, right? Then uh, I can define a Q of n, which uh satisfies some property, and the key step is when I define this, right? I can uh, since I I already assume that uh, it's greater than the function is zero is greater than one, right? So I can when I do the computation, I can just change this to be one and minus one, right? And I do the do however I want. Uh, yeah, so yeah, and uh, yeah, so I should say that one can define uh, our PN to be just least. Okay. okay, and then use this PN to, yeah, so just you, I think you may just forget about this and then just using this PN. Okay, and uh, you can easily check that this is a polynomial, right? Because this is polynomial and then it's just. Uh, another so when you do the integral uh and the integral all the t out right finally you get some something which is polynomial uh, respect to x okay and uh and then you just bound this uh bound this uh bounded by the uh, uniform continuous by the middle and then the left and right part is bounded by the property of the q one that we just derived okay yeah, that's it. See you guys uh, next videos. Bye-bye.